What's going on? So I want to do a six month review right here of the Graco Ultra Quick Shot Sprayer, how it has been performing during those projects in the real world. So the first project that I kind of did was not really a project, it was just me testing it out. And I went through about five gallons of interior house paint. And really it was just painting on the side of this garage that I have access to because the building's gonna get torn down. So I used the sprayer just to experiment and had a couple friends come over and just experiment as well. But we went through quite a few gallons of uh, just interior house paint just to see exactly how it performed and it did great. So the second project that I did was in Halifax, Nova Scotia. So I brought along the Graco sprayer to do the entire background with a ton of different colors. I used the Sherwin-Williams exterior paint for this one. And I would say I went through about seven gallons of paint in the sprayer. And it took probably two of the six amp hour batteries to get through the entire project, just doing the background and everything that I needed with the sprayer. Each of the sessions where I used the sprayer was only about, I would say, an hour and a half. So it wasn't like a long period I was using it. So I didn't have to worry about the motor overheating or anything. So this project worked out perfectly. The next project that I worked on was one with a church called Malahai Ministries, and they wanted me to paint the side of one of their new developments that was basically low-income housing. So I basically did the same thing and covered the entire surface with uh, exterior house paint. This was the Bare Premium Plus. One of the biggest differences between this project and the last project was that this project was a lot larger and this was super hot weather, I believe like 98 degree weather. So I actually had to take quite a few breaks. So I took breaks so I didn't overheat. So I didn't really get a chance to sort of really push the motor as far as it could go when it comes to, you know, using it in this type of weather. And another addition to this project was that I used the sprayer to apply a top coat to the mural after I finished and it was Mural Shield which is a UV coating for artistic murals and public art. So I went through about 25 gallons worth of materials that includes the exterior house paint and the top coat at the end. When doing the colors in the background, I had to use the equivalent of four six amp hour batteries because I exhausted the two that I had, had to charge it and then had to come back. And when applying the top coat, I used both of the six amp hour batteries. They lasted the entire wall. And that's mainly because I I wasn't changing out colors or cleaning it in between colors. Basically, it was the same uh, material I was using on the entire wall for the top coat. The next project that I used the sprayer on was the Denver Broncos mural. I got the paint inside of the stadium, the Hall of Famers, and I did the entire background with just the sprayer. For this project, I used about 12 gallons of paint just to cover everything, and it went really well where I was able to get pretty much everything done with two of those six amp hour batteries and to cover the entire background with the colors it took me between three to four hours mainly because i was more concerned about getting overspray on some of the other uh, surrounding areas that i went a little bit slower but this worked out really well so the next project i did with the sprayer was in lafayette indiana and this was for a mural festival i used the sprayer pretty much two days and the first day was only to lay down background colors and then the second day was to fill up any of the larger areas and sort of fade some of the colors together that were in the larger areas. I would say I used about five gallons of exterior house paint on this one of the Bare Premium Plus. And for this project, I only used one of the six amp hour batteries. The next project was a parking garage and I used the Quick Shot sprayer on certain areas to blend and to fade things together. I didn't use it on the entire mural because it's just way too big, but I did use about 15 gallons of of the concrete garage epoxy in the sprayer. So it still was a good amount of material that I was using on here. And last but not least, I used about three gallons total of leftover epoxy paint and primer and latex paint to work on this project right here where I was painting panels for an NBA Denver Nuggets activation. And I used about one of these six amp hour batteries for this project and I had plenty of power left over. So those are the different projects. I went through about 
82 gallons of just material in the sprayer but don't forget that I had to wash it out as well so there's quite a few more gallons when it comes to water I use to go through the sprayer to clean everything out and Graco suggests that the motor has a lifespan of about 200 gallons worth of material so I'm almost close to halfway the lifespan of the motor so hopefully it will last a lot longer and now I just want to share a couple of different things based on how I was using the sprayer versus the features that it has the first one is I do not use use the belt attachment. This great cold sprayer has a, an attachment, a feature that allows you to have it on a belt. They give you this sort of belt system where you're able to have the sprayer on your hip so that you can be hands free when doing a project. I did not really use this feature at all. I basically placed it on the ground or I was just using it in my left hand while spraying with my right hand. And that is because it just felt awkward when I felt like I was going to spill the paint if I bent over in a certain way. So I didn't really feel safe with it on my hip. When you have a small amount, basically you're tilting your hip and the paint doesn't really sort of get into the pump and now it feels like you're out of paint when you're really not actually out of paint. You just gotta pivot or swivel your hip another way to actually get the paint into the pump. So in the end, I do not use that little belt feature at all. The second thing is the six amp hour batteries work really well. So I use that on majority of my projects. It comes with two two amp hour batteries. Those are great when it comes to cleaning up the actual sprayer at the end of your session or the project. Otherwise, the six amp hour batteries get me through a lot of my projects. Some of them I didn't even have to charge or use my other six amp hour battery because I have two of them. So the batteries last a long time. This is a very efficient machine. The third thing about this is that it's really easy to break down and disassemble to clean up the clogs or clean up the pump if you have sort of like a malfunction or it's not working right it's really easy to take it apart basically a screwdriver and a hex wrench the right size you need but just with those tools you're able to break down pretty much the entire thing and sort of fix anything that you need any clog that you have rather than having to wait an entire project to see a mechanic or take it to the shop and get it fixed by someone else you can actually do it yourself and it's really easy as you can see basically me just taking it apart and putting it back together within a matter of minutes and this is great because if I need to change out a part or the motor I'm able to do it myself just order the part online and just do it in-house thing that I did not tackle was solvent based paints because I don't really use a lot of solvent based paints so that is something that you know I can't really review on how it performs when it comes to that so overall this worked out really great mainly because I was able to use it with all the in interior paints that I use, exterior house paints that I use, the UV top coatings that I use, and the graffiti coatings that I use, as well as the primers that I use. I have quite a few projects coming up, so I'll make sure that I document all those different projects while using this sprayer so that I can do a year in review of the sprayer and how it's performing. So hopefully you like this quick sort of six month sort of uh, review the six month review of the sprayer. So if you're interested in getting it, hopefully the information that I was sharing can help you out when making the decision. But this is one of the best decisions I ever made when sort of picking a sprayer. It worked out really well. So hopefully I'll see you guys in another six month to do my year long review. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.